Hey, what is good, A team? It's your boy T back at it with another reaction. Now, if y'all couldn't tell from the title, man, today we back with another first take reaction. I ran across this video earlier, man. It was in my recommendation. They did a hell of a job with the thumbnail, bruh. They had LeBron Photoshop in the Warriors uniform. I'm looking like this is what, what what is going on here. But the title of this video is Stephen A. Smith sends warning to LeBron about possibly joining the Warriors. Bruh. The title, <laughs> the title is enough for a reaction, bro. So we about to go ahead and check this out. Should be pretty interesting, but you already know. Before we hop into this, if you're new, be sure to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're enjoying the video throughout, take some time out, smack that like button for your boy. I definitely appreciate it. Let's go ahead and hop on into this. Talking Warriors. This is LeBron James really open to off season meeting with Warriors if Max slots open. Oh, okay, okay. So that makes perfect sense. of the fence, they are an ultra aggressive franchise when nobody thought they'd have a shot at Kevin Durant. They were way ahead of the curve and they set the foundation a year in advance to acquire Kevin Durant. Hey, Stephen A is spitting some facts right now, but bruh. If the Warrior, first of all, he said this is coming from Golden State side of things. So some of they people putting this story out. Y'all niggas trying to get more? How much do you need, bro? If you get LeBron James added with all the players you have, you're literally, I feel like they would veto that a trade if y'all tried that, bro. That's like why, like, I mean, I get it. You're trying to be as good as possible, but as a franchise, what? Y'all would literally be the most hated franchise in the league, bro. I mean, the most loved by Golden State fans, but the most hated by the rest of the league. That, that, how, why are y'all trying to get more? Like, what do y'all not have enough? Let's keep it going, bro. Let's see what they got to say. they're putting out feelers to see if they'd have a shot <clears throat> at LeBron James. This is not LeBron James and his camp. This is the Warriors and their camp putting out this story because they're an ultra-aggressive franchise who will never less rest on its laurels. Now, knowing the Golden State Warriors the way that I do, uh, Joe, Joe Lacob and, and, and Myers and, and Steve Kerr and the crew, that definitely is the kind of thing that they would do. They are forward figures. They are aggressors. They do not stand pat. They do not sit oddly by and rest on their laurels. So it is certainly plausible that this is coming from them. Having said that, let me be very, Stephen very a. clear food. to LeBron James. If you sign it, you even think about going <laughs> to the Golden State think. Warriors. Your legacy is tarnished by forever. Forever. And, and, and I'm a LeBron fan. fan. What you mean? No other way. You cannot be a team. You cannot be the best player in the world that has had a stack <clears> that wins three championships, the latest in Cleveland after ending a drought that lasted than a half century in that city. You've lost two of the last three term of championships to the Golden State Warriors, and then you turn around and you decide to join them, no matter how great Kevin Durant is, and he is phenomenal, it doesn't take away from the fact that at the time he left, it was the weakest move that I'd ever seen by a superstar. If LeBron goes to the Warriors, nothing, and I do mean nothing, will eclipse that in terms of weakness. But, <laughs> but positively in not. terms you of know, weakness. You go a lot of different places. You go back to Miami with D-Way. You can stay in Cleveland. All right. That's true, you though. If you, like, why even Cleveland consider Cleveland going to Golden State? State? That wouldn't you even make sense. Go to the Golden that State literally would make no if sense. If LeBron James goes to the Golden State Warriors, if LeBron James has a meeting with the Warriors, he'll be vilified by that. Exactly. There's no and need for you to even talk to them. Why are we even considering? He shouldn't even watch the movie, The Warriors. He shouldn't even watch the movie, The Warriors. He should not have anything to do with Warriors. There you go, man. Stephen A. Smith, let me explain something. Now, you're right. It would be weaker than Kevin Durant's move because the Warriors, because of Kevin Durant, are even better than when Durant joined them. And once again, it would be... Don't tell me Max about to say something about he should consider. ...that a superstar would join. And let me tell you who is to blame, even for the idea that LeBron would be open to sitting down with the Warriors? The answer is Stephen A. Smith. You are to blame, and every 
one who thinks like you. Because out of one side of your mouth, you say and repeat, and it's nonstop anytime the topic comes up. What Kevin Durant did is the weakest move ever, etc., etc. And on the other side of your mouth, you say, Kevin Durant, finals MVP. He's nipping at LeBron's heels. Wow, Kevin Durant. True, and he on wouldn't be nipping at his uh, heels if LeBron he was on another team because he wouldn't be able to do the things he's doing. A, he drags these teams to He dragged the Cavs to the finals before he had any help. <clears throat> he faced the Golden State team that was so fully loaded with KD. No one would have a shot. And you go at him for his record in the finals. So if you're going to ultimately say whatever you're going to say, yeah, 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 it's a weak move, but then give credit to the guy for his performance on a team where because of all the other star players, he simply has to do less. Right. Can shine for all y'all Warriors players. I mean, <laughs> Warriors fans. ...is going to be different than how can you criticize him now for being... Nah, you can't player. criticize him, though. No. I, I mean, I don't, I don't agree with that. I wouldn't say it's on Stephen A. Smith. I mean, but at the same time, Max did low-key have some points in there. Because everybody was, oh, man, Durant so weak, all this. I was one of the people saying that, too. That all the people, oh, man, KD is about to surpass LeBron. And LeBron's air is about to be over. And I think KD averaged um, a few more points than LeBron in last year's finals. But LeBron averaged a triple-double, bro. Never been done before and by a 30, what, two-year-old, 31-year-old? So that's tough, bro. But everybody was saying, oh, man, it's a weak move, this and that. But then it was, oh, well, KD is over here. Oh, man, he got finals MVP. He's the second best player, might be the first best player, and this and that. I'm saying in my head, okay, I never said, nobody ever said KD wouldn't be a good player or a great player because he went to the Warriors. We simply called it a foolish move because he is a great player. If he was a mediocre player, why would we care if he went to the Warriors? But you're a you're one of the greatest players in the league and you decide to go to the greatest team. And now you don't really have to do much of nothing. Like that opens up lanes for you to get open shots so you stroke and get 30, 40 point games. Defense is stepping up because you got other pieces here that can, you know what I'm saying, lock this down, lock that down. So you don't really have much to actually do, bruh. Like, you're getting your stats, but nobody ever said you would go from being a great player to a horrible player because you went to the Warriors. You're still going to be as good as you were. We just didn't want you to go to the Warriors because you're a great player. Why would you want to do that? But, hey, man, I'm off that. I'm about to get riled up about this old KD thing again. But this, obviously, this was just some trolling type stuff going on, bro. I can't see LeBron even taking a meeting with the Warriors. Like, that wouldn't even make sense. And honestly, I felt like if the Warriors really did try to get him, like if it came down to it, I feel like the league could easily veto that. How they vetoed the uh, Chris Paul trade back in the day when he was uh, on his way to the Lakers. He was about to get traded to the Lakers with Kobe and all that, bro. And the league vetoed it. That was too crazy. But that's what I feel like would happen if they really tried to get him. Because who? I mean, that day would literally be unstoppable. You cannot lose a game with that lineup. But hey, man, that's just my opinion on this. Y'all get down there in the comments. Let me know, bro, what would y'all thoughts be if LeBron went to the Warriors, bro? Like, I know it's not going to happen, but if that ever happened, let me know what y'all would do down below. That would be too crazy, man. But if y'all got suggestions for new reactions, be sure to drop those down below as well. And we on the road to 3K subscribers, a team. I appreciate all the love y'all been showing so far. Let's keep it going, keep it growing. Hey, y'all definitely be sure to go check your boy out. Instagram, Twitter, man, that's underscore AT. And definitely be sure to go check out the clothing line as well. Instagram, Twitter, that's at 5King. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to smack that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And like like I always say, y'all keep coming back, tuning in. I'm going to keep these videos rolling out. We going to keep getting it lit over here. Catch y'all on the next video. Got to ride, ride with a fan. Niggas trying to keep two Glocks. New year getting new guac. See y'all on my dick, say your boot stop. Put double G's on the belt. Swim in your bitch, Michael Phelps. Rich forever getting more bands. I just pull up in the foreign down. Check up.